Hi everyone! So today I am showing you my new easel and I'm very proud of it. I'm sorry about the way I look right now, but it is because I have been building something. Um, as some of you may know, I'm from Italy and right now Italy has uh, been badly hit by the coronavirus outbreak, which means we are all quarantined at home. I'm not sick, but the government advises everybody to stay at home, which means I'm at my parents' house, which is about um, 400 kilometers from Milan, where my painting studio is. Now, this situation might be going on for at least a month, so I've decided to set myself up with um, a room for painting and I also needed a surface to paint on because I don't have a wall I can mess up the way I do in my studio. So I made myself a painting... how do I not know this word now? Not a tripod. Easel. Sorry, <laughs> I made myself an easel and I want to show you because I'm pretty proud of it. It cost me about um, 60 euros to make it, which is about $70. And yeah, I like it because it's exactly what I need. It's lightweight, it's got all the features I, I need and it was fun to build. So here we go, here's the new easel. Basically, um, there's a board being held up by these pegs and these pegs can be inserted into any of these holes which means the height of the painting surface is adjustable then there is a chain on the bottom that is adjustable with a carabiner and um, that keeps it together and then there is these two pieces of wood that keep it spread out kind of to keep a tension going between a force that pulls and the force that pushes so that it doesn't move too much. Um, these pieces of wood can be um, put into in between of any of these little pegs, I guess, no little, little I don't know, steps. Um, so the whole width of the easel is adjustable. And up here there's just some simple, I don't know how you call those joints. And let's see it with the board on. Also, please don't judge my outfit. So this is the board. It goes on right here. And then up here, I'm gonna tie some strings that go from this little peg around the, I guess, the leg of the easel and back to the peg so that it doesn't you know, fall this way. Even though I put these little pieces in that at least prevent it from sliding out. So yeah. This is my new easel. I hope I'm gonna be able to paint some good stuff in the next month. I'll share those with you. Bye!